you know, with Benny Goodman, it, I didn't work on many records with him, but I thought he was a terrific guy. We, when I was always with Benny, we always had a lot of fun. We laughed a lot, and he'd call up, uh, call my office, and he'd say, oh, uh, uh, what are you doing around 5 o'clock? I said, well, Benny, <clears throat> you know, I'm going to finish, get out of here, and go around home. He said, oh, stop up and we'll have a drink. And I'd go up there, and we'd talk, and we listened sometimes to some music, but Biomauser was just a conversation. And he would ask me questions, and I would, I would answer them, you know, as best I could. But we had a good relationship. I mean, I did a couple of dates with him, albums in the, uh, at the for, for Sony, the, or not for Sony, but for CBS. And it was always a lot of fun. I know a lot of people didn't like him, but I did. I thought he was a great guy. One time I met him in, in uh, London. I had to go over there to record, and I finally found out where the hell he was staying, not far from where I was. I was staying at the Dorchester, and he was just down the road. And I called him up. I said, Benny, look, at, can we get together for dinner? You know, uh, you know. he said, well, 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 I said, well, I got a couple of tickets to a, a wonderful show. I said, well, okay, you want me to meet you somewhere? He said, yeah, yeah come over to the hotel over here. He said, we'll get the chauffeur to take us to the theater. And uh, before that, we'll have dinner. Go see the show. And uh, go, maybe go out afterwards. So I went down and I met him at the hotel. The guy t picks us up in the limousine. He drives around and around and around and around. I said, Benny, where the hell are we going? He says, he says the, the chauffeur, do you know where the theater is? The guy said, I think so. He keeps driving for almost for an hour. I mean, we're probably not more than 10 minutes away from the theater. The guy can't find the theater. I said, oh, Benny, Jesus Christ, the time, we won't have time to eat. We won't have time to do anything. He says to me, Okay, he says, finally, he says, the guy says, I've got the theater. Now I know where it is. It was at the Savoy, right next to the Savoy Hotel in London. It was the theater. It's called Noises On or Noises Off, something like that. It's supposed to be very funny. We get in there, we're late. <laughs> and finally, he sits down for about 10 minutes. And he says, this ain't funny, is it? I said, I don't think so, Benny. He said, let's go. I said, well, you can't get up in the middle of the performance here. I said, maybe there's going to be another break. And I looked at the program, and there were a couple of breaks. I said, let's just wait, you know, wait, wait a minute or two. And sure enough, there was a break. So we, I don't think we were in the theater for 10 minutes. We go upstairs, and we go to dinner. Well, the dinner thing was wonderful. First of all, we had a drink. And it was a marvelous, I was really enjoying myself because Ben here were laughing. I don't know what the hell we're, we're laughing at, but we were talking about the show, the, the, the awful show and some of the, he said, look, can you stay in town with me for a few days? I said, Benny, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. He said, call up your wife and cancel. Then you're not going to come home for a few days. I said, you got to be nuts. I said, she's, she's probably shooping. And he said, well, if, we, if you stay, he said, we'll, we'll take a ride out in the country. We'll go hear some music. So we had the wonderful dinner. So we ordered, I think I ordered a steak. And it took so long to get a steak. He calls the waiter over and he said, look, at, cancel whatever you ordered. He says, we're going to take off that that hot plate, whatever you've got there, the wagon, lamb chops. I said, that, that'd be fine. So we had the lamb chops. We had the drink, and we ordered another one. I never finished the second one. He says, do you mind if I drink the second one for you? <laughs> I said, no, Betty. You will help me out a great deal. So he drank the second one. But we, and then when we finished, he said, I got to go. I said, where? 
I said, you know, I don't know where the hell anything is around here. So we, he said, look, stand guard out there. This is right next to the Savoy Hotel. He does whatever he has to do. <laughs> I said, hey, Benny, uh, look out, look out. <laughs> you listen to the output of all his things. It's, it's just tremendous. I mean, it was, I, I, it's hard to put it into words. I mean, he had the Benny Goodman Trio, Benny Goodman Quintet, the big band, and he did some classical things. And the same with Artie Shaw. I mean, it was just a, a, a number of wonderful records. And I admired all of the ones that he did for Columbia because I had, I had a chance to work on some of those on the reissues, but, and also with Artie. But, I, but of course, Artie didn't re... He did a couple of recordings for Columbia, but not many.